since I got my Blackstone pizza oven, y'all, I've been playing. I've been playing with this pizza dough. You ain't got nothing till you got a pizza dough. I think I got this pretty much worked out. I ain't no professional, I guarantee you that. But I'm gonna show you how to make beautiful garlic knots. Just watch this one. Okay, y'all got my water in here, and uh, I got my whole sink over here. My water comes 2,500 foot from down underneath the earth. I got a deep well. Let me show y'all what we're gonna do here. Got some yeast right here. Got a whole package of yeast. I got about uh, exactly a cup and a quarter and a half, about a cup and a quarter of water right here. Warm water, warm water, y'all. We're gonna take and dump this in here. Oh, y'all, we got to dissolve that yeast in that water. Ooh, a couple of them jumped out there, y'all. You got to watch these things. They are alive now. Okay, we got it. We good. We're going to let this sit two or three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. We got more stuff to add to this now. Let's take this bowl, put it right here. I'm fixing to show y'all something. This is what I do. I get some of this spray oil, no matter what kind. I coat my thing down pretty good with it. Then I dump my flour. The reason I do that, so it don't stick. It's all Stuff don't stick to all. Y'all watch this, we're gonna dump about, right about, let me even it out. Hmm, that's it. Three cups, all right? We got three cups of flour around there. You know how I know that? Look at the line right there. All right, y'all. Now, if you're using self-rising flour, you don't need to do this step here, but this is not self-rising flour, so we're gonna put about a spoon and I'm gonna say a half, spoon and a half of this baking powder. All right, probably put a, you get your dough spoon. This is a dough spoon. You can use a regular one. We're gonna just mix this up, y'all. Get all that mixed in, mix it real good, because we're mixing the baking powder in with the flour. Get it mixed. I got this mixed up pretty good. Now we're gonna add some sugar. I'm gonna put this sugar right in the yeast. I guess I'm gonna go with a spoon. Throw it right there. Let it sit just a second. Stir that in. Not through yet, no. Let it go in there. I might add a little bit more salt, what do you think? Just a little pinch of do you? Not through yet now. Watch this. Still stirring. You can feel the sugar on the bottom and the salt. When you quit feeling the sugar and it's melted, you add a little oil. That's one, about two, two spoons of oil in there. Now I'm gonna stir that in real good. Hey, we got that stirred up. I'm gonna dump not all of this, but a good bit of it right there. I always leave a little bit in the bottom because you can always add more. You can't take it out. Hey, I got my spoon right here. Now I'm gonna go around and just start mixing this dough. You can get it in there and look at it, see how it's doing. It's clumping up pretty good. You can buy dough at the store, but it's not the same. This stuff is really good this way. And once you learn how to make your dough, it's a lot cheaper. And I think it's a lot better. So we're gonna add a little more. Mm -hmm. And a lot of time I make my dough at night, okay? You set it down, get back in there. You seen that thing like, jump out of there? I'll make my dough at night and just let it sit there. Put something over the top of it. Let it, let it just, this uh, sit, it's gonna rise up once you get done with it. I had a lady give me this dough spoon in Ohio, and she said she used that to make biscuits and stuff with. And we was in the old, old antique store, the like thing over there. And uh, anyway, I brought it home, been using it ever since. Okay, y'all, I might could use a tad bit more water, just a little bit. I got my handy dandy water bottle. Doop. Just a little squirt. You don't need a lot once you get to a certain point. Let me show y'all what we're gonna do. We got it just where I want it, y'all. Once it starts stop sticking to the spoon, 
I'm kind of rolling it, making a ball out of it, picking it up and dropping it. Okay, once you get it right there, you're done. Almost. We're going to put a top on it. And the uh, only reason I do that is going to go to the edges and keep it weighted down. But you put it, cover it up, let it sit for an hour or two, and this dough is going to rise. Once it rises, uh, you can put it in the refrigerator overnight, does good, or you can cook right now with it. All right, y'all. Y'all can tell how this has changed. I made this yesterday. But, hey, it's good. Look at that, ain't that pretty? First thing we need to do is make some garlic butter. So come over here and watch this, y'all. We're gonna get this stick of butter. I'm gonna drop it right down there, get in there. You could cook in these little, these little fall packages thing. I love to cook in them. We're gonna set this one down right here. We'll let that butter melt down a little bit. I got my Blackstone on already. Now we're gonna add a little seasoning to it. All right. We're gonna add a good bit in there. Now we're gonna put some good old Cajun seasoning in there. While that butter is melting, we're gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna rinse my hand up in yonder here. Throw me some flour right there, put a little extra right there. Move it around here. I'm gonna grab me a little dough. Look at there. Okay, we're gonna throw it. That's enough for about five or six rolls right here. Now, like I say, I ain't been doing this dough long. I'm just learning how to do this. And I should've put more flour down right there, apparently. Okay. So we got it going now. Now for garlic knots, you need a small little piece. And I'm gonna break it off, dip it in the flour and roll it. Throw it down. Get me another one. Dip it in the flour, roll it around. Okay, we got it happening. I think I can pick mine up and roll it like this. Then I can roll it on the board. We're gonna kind of tie a little knot in this thing. Need a good bit of flour on it. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna show y'all something else you can do with these. Watch this. When you get the flour on it, don't want to roll. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We're, we're figuring this out as we go, y'all. Y'all, once this butter is melted good and all your season mixed in, just cut it off. And I like to take it off the burner, so we're gonna let it right there. You wait right there, I'll be with you in a minute. Now I'm gonna take my pan right here and I'm gonna get a little bit of oil and squirt on here. Maybe a little more, what do you think? Move this out the way. Y'all watch Miss Marvin go. All right. We're going to set this one on there. It's kind of tied up, ready to go. Get a few of these out. Try to tie the knot on one of these, what do you think? I'm going to get me a little cheese and set it out here too, so I ain't got to fight with that. We're going to get this made up in a minute. We got this, then we're going to tie a little knot on it. Maybe drop a couple pieces of little, little cheese on it right here. I'm going to try to get a knot going right here. Never worth much of a knot tire. All right, y'all. Yeah, we're going to do a bunch of these, y'all. We got them all made up here. Look at this. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. But we ain't through yet, y'all. Get some of this magic sauce. All right, y'all. We're going we're gonna to brush them up a little bit. Look at that. Woo-wee. All right, y'all. Got my pizza oven on. It's on about 650 degrees. This is not going to take long. Just a couple minutes. This is going to be ready. I'm going to stuck it in there and back off and let her rip. It ain't going to be long, so don't leave it. Oh, y'all, tell y'all it wasn't going to take long. Let me get this thing around here where it belongs. Cut it off. Get the old chin locks and oh, yeah. Look at that, y'all. Perfect. We're going to set them all over here. That'll be cooling down a little bit. Woo! Rather warm. Woo! They too hot, y'all. It's like they come out of a pizza oven or something. Got a couple sticking on me. Not bad. Just a little bit. Look at all this, y'all. Beautiful garlic knots. Get your favorite pizza sauce. If you don't like this, make your own like we do. And now it's time to eat. Almost forgot something. Who got this cool garlic butter with all the good seasonings in it. All right, y'all. We're going to paint these up a little bit. Use a lot of this, it's good. Look at that. Now if you got kids and don't want it that, that strong a seasoning, you don't have to put all the seasoning in it. You don't have to put Cajun. Make it yours, do it your way. Okay, we got this, we're gonna dip it in a pizza sauce. This is so good. 
You can make your own dough, buy your own dough, it don't matter. Pizza oven does all the work. It's just simple. Get you a pizza oven, can't go wrong with it. Black Tone makes the best one, get you one of them. And oh my goodness. Mm. Tonight you're cooking with the